Hey yo, what is up guys and gals, welcome back to another video. Today we will be predicting and breaking down the winter tour coming really soon to Mario Kart Tour. So all information will be provided in this video. So I'm not in my Christmas setup right now, I'm just saving that later, it's still getting set up. But in my tour reaction video, I'll be in my Christmas village. So make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, you guys, we have the winter tour early once again, like it was last year. And another thing I want to say is that I did do a little one minute reaction to the trailer. Um, it's going to be at the end of this video. So if you want to check that out, then be sure to stick around and also be sure to check the timestamps down below for a little bit of more information. So right off with the new track. So the new track we have is Merry Mountain, but it's not obviously Merry Mountain regular. It is Merry Mountain RT. Uh, we have another RT track once again. And probably during week two, our RT track will probably be RMX Vanilla Lake 1 RT or DK Summit RT. And for the new characters, we actually have none, which is kind of surprising to be honest. But at the same time, we still may be getting some because we have another three tour celebration, which I feel like is kind of weird. Um, it kind of just proves how unneeded the autumn tour celebration was. There's nothing special for that. So I'm glad that we're getting a winter tour celebration. It's kind of like more meaningful and it'll be a bit more fun. So we'll obviously have the holiday tour. Probably the Vancouver tour, I'm really hoping next. Then the New Year's tour, ending it off with a real bang. So stay tuned for that, you guys, and stay tuned for the awesome content coming up next. But for the new character, there's really none at the moment, but I really hope that they do give us a new holiday character. But for the time being, yeah, it's nothing. And then moving on to week one, pretty much they did state it in the trailer. It is the Santa Bros. So week one we have is Santa Bowser and Santa Mario, including their carts, which is the Cheer Mellow and the Holiday King. And ending it off with their gliders, it is the Star Shoot and the Jolly Bells. These guys were getting lots of buffs recently, so we saw this coming. And it's a very great pipe, you guys. If you missed out on Bowser Santa, it is your time and I'm wishing you all the best luck. Make sure you leave a like for great luck going into this new tour. And yeah, comment down below if you will be pulling as well. Then moving on to week two, we have is Daisy Holiday Cheer and Reindeer Yoshi. They did split up Bowser Santa and Daisy because they knew everybody wanted those two specifically, especially my cousin as well. She really does want Bowser Santa and Daisy Fairy and she's free to play and she's kind of having trouble now deciding who to pull for. But week one we have is these two guys, including their carts, which is the Jingle Bells and a new Gilded Prancer, or Prancer, which is the Holiday Prancer. I really like this. It kind of does look like a gingerbread. And I am one of like the biggest fans of the holiday skins. I love all the Easter stuff. I love all the Valentine's Day stuff, Halloween, especially the Christmas stuff. It's going to be really hard to pass on these pipes. Um, and I will try my best to save this tour because I just did pull for Satella View Mario. He took all my tickets. But, you know, we don't know what the future holds, but... I really do want this Prancer cart because it's just like so holiday themed, but yeah, we have a new Prancer, which is the Holiday Prancer. And lastly, their gliders, which is the Gift Glider for Reindeer Yoshi and the Glitter Glider returning for Daisy Holiday Cheer. And then moving on to the special pipe they showed us in the trailer. It's really non-fitting, I guess I'm just going to say that because it's another Bowser's Minions pipe, but Kamek was shown a lot, especially like front and center Kamek was shown. So that raises some questions, like Kamek has a cup already, he's an original character, and he's long overdue now to become a regular high end. So I definitely do feel like Kamek is going to be a regular high end now, um, and he's going to be a spotlight in the special pipe. The drivers it consists of is Kamek obviously, King Bob -Bomb Gold, King Boo Gold, uh, Gold Dry Bones, and Gold Koopa Free Running. So it could also be called like an evil coin box pipe because it's all like coin box characters that are evil, but We'll call it the Bowser's Minion Pipe 3. I'm a big fan of the villains in Mario Kart Tour and all the villain-esque stuff. And there's lots of villain type of stuff this tour, which I'm kind of surprised about. And we have like a whole special pipe based off of villains, which it really makes no sense. But Kamek does look like he is spotlight. So that is going to be very awesome if he is. And it's going to make up for all the non-spotlight stuff Nintendo has been throwing at us because that's not really great. Um, and if Kamek is not spotlight, this pipe again is kind of mediocre. So yeah, you guys, let me know if you will be pulling. I don't really think this pipe will be that popular to pull on, especially because these coin box characters don't have the best value anymore. They tend to now nerf the coin box characters, but overall, I do feel like this pipe is great, especially if the details are going to be three high-end drivers or maybe even four high-end drivers. Consider pulling for it. But my best bet is that you guys should definitely save because New Year's Tour may have like a nine spotlight peach pipe which Pe with Peach Happy, Peach Explorer, and it'll be very awesome. So stay tuned for the New Year's tour as well, and make sure you keep that in mind for your Ruby savings. 
Also, the squad is coming back. Holiday season, baby. And then moving on to the packs, we have crazy packs once again. Uh, the holiday stuff never fails to disappoint us. It's always so amazing. So first pack we obviously have is the candle glider that they showed us. Um, I don't really know if I like this glider, you guys. It's, it's like Katy Perry at the Met Gala, but I don't know, you guys. It's such a weird glider, but it's in the 45 ruby pack. Hope its value is good. And in the second 45 ruby pack, we have is the gold glider returning. Very awesome glider. Uh, maybe it will be in ranked cup once again. So that's going to come in clutch for us. Unless it's Mario Circuit. No, thank you. But yeah, two gliders for the 45 ruby pack. And then for our 90 ruby packs, we have first is Nabbit and the holiday landship warship. Another cart. I mean, it's a holiday cart, so it's nice, but you guys, I'm not the biggest fan of all these carts that they are giving us. Especially because they're paywalled now. Like, I really thought they were gonna, like, you know, calm down after the anniversary tour and all the B-dashers, but they didn't. They're still throwing us so many carts, and I don't know if this is good for the long term of the game, but as long as these carts do get great value and, like, appropriate value, then I guess it's fine. Um, so first off, we have is Nabbit and the Holiday Landship. The second we have is Ice Mario and the Holiday Koopa Clown. Again, these villain carts are super, super nice. It makes me like, I don't know, it just makes me want all of them. But the thing is I can't get all of them because I already invested into a lot of other stuff. Plus it's in a 90 ruby pack. So probably not that worth it. And the holiday stuff, especially the Christmas stuff, they don't get that great buffs unless they're coming back. So I don't really think it's worth it, but they look stunning. Then Edna get off with the Mary Mountain RT top shelf predictions. So. For the Mary Mountain RT predictions, by the way, I love that track. I'm so excited to play it again. But I predicted first off Santa Mario um, because he has a terrible skill and they tend to put terrible skilled drivers on top shelf. Second, we have his Penguin Mario. Again, it matches the theme of the track. And then we have Halloween Waluigi, which is kind of weird. But first off, he has Babam Cannon. Second off, uh, Halloween Peach did get buffed. Ignore, <laughs> ignore that. But last year, Halloween Peach did get buffed on Mary Mountain as well. So. Halloween Waluigi can be a contender as well. Oh my god. And then second, or next I mean, is it gonna be Bowser Santa again from week one. And then lastly we have is Kamek, because it's Kamek's cup and we are celebrating him with a buff because he's gonna be a regular high end. At least I think so. So yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this predictions video. Let me know what you guys thought about my concepts. It really means a lot when you guys compliment my work and you know, let me know your thoughts about the tour as well in the comments down below and again i'll also be in my new setup uh next tour reaction so my next video so stay tuned for that as well it will be premiered and talking about premieres i'd like to give a huge shout out to some premier vips so i promise you guys that if you're in my premiere and you comment me in the premiere chat that i'll give you a shout out at the end of the video so first off i want to give First off, I want to give a huge shout out to Super Yoshi Ryan, a huge supporter on my channel. So thank you so much, Super Yoshi Ryan, for being here in my premieres. Second, we have is Maddie Woodhouse, again, a huge supporter of the channel. Thank you so much, Maddie. And lastly, we have is Super Mario Sam. Thank you guys for being here in the premiere. And if you guys also want to get a VIP premiere shout out, then be sure to tune in to my holiday tour reaction video. And at the end of the video, comment me and you can also get a shout out. And then next up, let's give a huge shout out to my members. Thank you guys again for coming into the holiday season as awesome members. It really does mean a lot. Um, and it's just an awesome gift. So I want to give a huge shout out to my amazing Minion army. Uh, Roy Go, Green021, Mike B, Larry98, Victor Y, and our boy Marco. And lastly, the top shelf drivers of Mary Mountain RT is our elite minions. So Elite Minions, let's give a huge shout out to Josh T, Nans, Caleb, Guanlin, and Jeeves. Keeping us awesome, me guys, stay hydrated. So again, I'll see you guys in the winter time setup. Let's go. Oh my god. Wait, there's no new character. Holiday tour, it's a holiday celebration. Oh my god. Okay, let's see the trailer. I don't see any new character. So there's a Oh my god, that, that new pants is so nice. What? Mary Mountain's back, that's pretty cool. Any new Birdo? Nothing? That, like I said, that pants is beautiful. But I guess, yeah, no new character, you guys. Time making a pack like that, a death. Wow. Holy flipping moly, beautiful. Yeah, no new character, that's kind of sad. Wow. 
Yeah, no new character, but some really nice cards and overall.